And good morning, Minecraft. This is Mr. Kassarian, and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play series. So today, we're going to work on our power infrastructure a little bit. What we're going to do... There we go. Is first of all, find our wrench. Thank you, wrench. There we go. And we're going to start upgrading our geothermals. Remember, please use a wrench, otherwise bad things happen. I'm going to waste some lava doing this, but... Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this thing. Put this here, this here, these here. And then... get ourselves a thermal generator. It generates a bit more EU per tick. Than we're used to. But, as you can see, it is in fact generating power. Not too shabby. I don't have an EU reader on me, or I would show this to you in detail. But, seems to be working fairly well. If we open this guy up, we get this out. My click placing is being a little bit irritating today, and I don't know, especially... Yeah, see? It's doing that. I suspect I'm trying to upload a I'm trying to upload a video right now, so I suspect it's not liking that overly much, but Okay. This is new. Alright, so I'm gonna finish up these. I'll be back with you guys in a minute. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. And I built another room. Now, this room isn't done yet. We're getting there. But I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool, just to start off with. So, we're going to make ourselves an industrial grinder, which I've been looking forward to for quite some time. And the first thing we need to do is remember that it is a multi-block. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down a layer of standard machine casings. Like so. Then, we're going to get our reinforced machine casings. And I believe the next thing we need to do is get ourselves a bucket of water. Put that in there. Pick this up. And then I believe it's one more layer. Let me just check my... I believe it's one more layer. Okay. And that was the easy part. Now we're going to have to go do something different. Let's go back upstairs where I've had some coal coke grinding down. Because we're going to need to actually make the grinder itself now. And that is not quite as easy <clears throat> as it sounds. So let's get our coal dust. Let's get some flint. Let's do that. And that. And let's get ourselves some of that coal dust we cooked up, right? We need some coal balls. Not quite that many, actually, but that's okay. Oops. Now we're going to need some obsidian. Um, okay. Coal 
coal grains, hydrated coal ball. Ah, right. We need to take our coal balls and, and compress them. Okay, so let's get that. Chuck you guys in there. Okay, that's done. Now, we're going to need to get ourselves eight diamond dust. Shouldn't be too hard. We do have macerators for a reason after all. And then, if I check the diamond grinder, we need eight steel plates. Well, it's a good thing I've been cooking up some steel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and let's get that done up inside our plate bending machine. Nice and simple. Okay, and let's just put the rest of our steel back in there. And why don't we get some more iron? And we chuck that in there. Perfect. Okay, so how are you guys doing over here? You're you're working on it. Okay. We got our steel plates. Drop those in there, drop those in there. Now, we should be able... Nope. Oh, it's a saw blade until you put the industrial diamonds in the middle. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. We just need, for this thing... God, that's slow. To finish up. So let me explain to you what the industrial grinder does, okay? It's kind of a hybrid between the pulverizer and a macerator. Um, it always gives you, you know, the uh, the pulverizer, you've seen in some other series, gives you a certain amount of bonus materials when it comes out. So if I did up some iron, I may get some ferrous metal going with it. The This machine that we're putting together downstairs always gives you the result, sometimes in dust piles of small dust, sometimes in, you know, normal dust piles. But that's okay. Now, the thing is, it requires medium voltage to run, and it has to have a constant input. You can say I put two more MFEs in downstairs. We are quickly outstripping my ability to provide power for this facility, very quickly. And this is the beginning of some of the more, I'd say, high-tier Greg Tech stuff, if you will. Charge pad. Um, but that's okay. You know, we're, we're getting there right now. Okay. Now we're going to get ourselves some of that obsidian. I love the fact that I have a crafting table without necessarily needing uh, Emmy. And now we get ourselves a coal chunk. Now what we do is we open up our compressor again and we throw the coal chunk in. And when that finishes, we'll have industrial diamonds coming out of there. Nice. Now we need some other stuff to do this as well. So let me actually put this away before I mess something up. All right, so let's go. I'm gonna need a, I think I already have a bucket in there, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's get ourselves an aqueous accumulator, okay? We need a pneumatic servo. We need a machine frame. Oh, I'm out of glass. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, I have next to no sand in there. I need to get some more sand. And we could chuck that in one of our electric furnaces. And just to make life a little bit easier. Let me grind up a few stacks of sand, a cobble into sand there. Okay, so I should have some glass. We get ourselves a machine frame. Now, we get ourselves an aqueous accumulator. I'm already using one downstairs, as you saw, uh, to provide water for my water ender tank. But this machine is a little bit more useful. 
the industrial grinder requires water. Let me get some of my liquid ups out of here. You have to have water in it, not just so in the block, but you have to have water being pumped into it or in cells in order for it to function. That's not the right room, that's my liquid storage room. So what that means is that we either have to put a pump and three water sources down there, or we just build another aqueous accumulator. You can tell which one I went for. Now. Okay, so let me put my ender tank back down. Ooh, client crash. I'll be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that. One bucket of water. Let's put our water bucket right there. Now the aqueous accumulator has to have water on either side of it in order for it to function. And I may have screwed myself up here a little bit. Now, get that bucket, put it down right there. And now if I put down my liquiducts, we should see that that's filling up quite quickly. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are now going to connect, oh right, we are now going to connect, um, let me get my wrench out of here. Like so, if I can get, I can't quite get an angle on it. There we go, connect that one. I'm gonna put one over here, and connect that one. Put one right here and connect that one. And put one right here and connect that one. Okay, so what this will let us do, in essence, is that one of the nice things about this machine is that it actually, it can share the same set of machine casings with another machine of the same type. So, for example, we can have multiple of these blocks, up to four, of course, connected to the machine casing. Of course, I'm making a mess of everything right now, but that's okay. And we're not going to build four right now. Um, I don't have really have the resources for it. Oh, God. Huh. Those are more durable than I thought they were. And we'll put one in right back here. Cross connect you, put you there. Cross connect you. No, not there. I want you right there. Okay. So this will just get us all set up for what we want to do later, okay? Let me do that, and that, and that's in place, and that's in place, and now that's in place. Oops, forgot to connect these. That's fine. Blink. okay. Now let's see what we're making out, of, making out upstairs. Hopefully pretty well. This episode may run over because I kind of want to get this set up today. Um, ah, not what I wanted. What I wanted. There we go. Much better. Okay, so now I should have... And now some obsidian, please. Oops. We'll do that. And this. Get that out. And compress that down. 
For some reason, this recipe requires an industrial diamond, and I don't especially know why. Um, blop. That. 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 Okay. Sort, please. Okay. So now, if we go over to our grinder, diamond grinder, we can pull out two and pull out two. Did you already finish? Not bad. Okay. So now, if I look up my industrial grinder block, I need some pumps, some advanced circuits, and a steel steel machine hull. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's much easier to do steel machine hull than advanced machine block. Um, much easier. All right, we'll put that together. Okay, so now we need industrial grinder. I need a pump. I need two machine blocks. Let me see. I actually think I have it. Okay. Now we need one, two, five. Five electronic circuits. Oops. Okay. Let me get some and some rubber. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, industrial grinder, pump, I think a pump please. Nope. Oh, it's a pump and an electrolyzer. Oh, gosh. Would that be easier? Much. Okay, we're doing that. <laughs> Uh, so let's get ourselves some wood. Why don't we just turn this into actual wood? We'll get that. We'll get one of these. We'll get one of these. We'll get one of these. We'll get some sticks. We'll get some iron. We'll get some tanks. Okay, and then all I should have to do is that, nope, is a mining well, a tank gets me the pump, okay, and then I need that darned industrial electrolyzer. Okay, so let's get ourselves some more wood. One, two. One, two, three, four. I need to collect some more wood soon. So we have our extractor. I didn't make any circuits. Oops. No, not that. OK. 
Okay, industrial electrolyzer. We have our extractor. Pull that out. We have our electrolyzer. Pull that out. And as always, we are running low on resources. Well, not really. We just, we're running low on resources we already have cooked up. Which is kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest with you. So why don't I come back when I actually have the industrial electrolyzer put together. And I'm back. Industrial grinder time. Wait, what am I missing? The steel machine hull. I thought I made one. Apparently I didn't. Okay, let's get that out. Pull you open. Steel machine hall. And industrial grinder. Hip hip hooray. Okay guys, we are on our way now. We are on our way. Oops, wrong way. We're almost there, guys. Let me just get some fiber cable. And some ME cable. Let's drop downstairs, because I never actually use the stairs. Industrial grinder. Now, let's hook it up like that. You can see the light turns green. It has water filling in. No idea what that means. Oh, that's what design it has. So now let's get her some power, shall we? Glass fiber, please. And I'll actually build an MFE for it. So actually, I think I want it to go out. I don't remember what the siding rules are for this thing. Excuse me. All right, so let's get our precision export on the top, precision import on the side, all right? Let's go like that. No, not like that. Like that. And then let's go up, up, over. Okay. And first of all, we're going to tell it, or is that the right type of tin? Tin ore, iron ore. Okay. So now if I put some iron in here, you can see it runs, and it runs pretty darn fast, too. And it already pulled everything we needed out. And you saw it generate those small piles of dust in addition to just generating the large piles of iron ore dust. Not half bad, right? Right. So let me run upstairs and check my configurations up top. And I'll get that configured. God. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, there we go. Gold, iron, copper, tin, silver, ferrous, gold. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so now that that's all set up, all we should have to do now is... If I open up my ender pouch right here. This should... Platinum, copper. Start running. And let's switch the import into stack mode. Nice, look at this go. Now it doesn't give us as much, I think, because it gives us these small piles, but that's perfectly fine by me. Like, it really is fine by me that it's giving us that. Copper ore goes in. I don't think it's quite as fast, but we have enough buffer space with our ME system that I don't think it really matters. Um... Plus, if we're having serious power issues, 
we can always shift if we're having serious processing issues we have we can put four more of these things in this isn't like it's our only option so this looks pretty good to me at least nice now i'll be right back guys all right everyone i actually think this is a good point to end the episode i have another build i'm going to work on in the next one but i'm not quite ready for it yet and i think you guys will enjoy it suffice to say i have all these tiny piles of dust that i need to get rid of so, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, with a little bit of a teaser for the next step, I will see you all in the next episode. I want to thank you very much for joining me. If you like this episode, please leave a comment, subscribe, throw me a like. Something to let me know that you enjoyed this app. Alright, thank you very much, and as always, happy mining.